Welcome to Boots in Baltimore. I'm Leanne Blanchard. I'm here with Raymond Spence of Motorhouse in the world famous Graffiti Alley. So tell me a little bit more about the history of Motorhouse. Great. So Motorhouse actually, the way that we got started was back in 2013. Uh, Barco uh, purchased this building, as you can see right here, and uh, a little bit of history behind the actual venue Motorhouse itself. It was actually a uh, a car dealership of sorts, but the the initial thing that it was was a horse and buggy, which was really really cool. And some of the historic value of the uh, the original building is still within the venue itself. So this building was purchased in 2013, and uh, it opened for programming in 2015. Okay, so how long has? Oh, you already said we've been here since 2013. Mm -hmm. So what types of events and artists do you feature? So we are a creative hub for Baltimore City. One of the things I pride myself on is the fact that Baltimore City is bursting at the seams of creativity. So or whether it be musicians, whether it be poets, whether it be graffiti artists, yeah. <laughs> Visual whether artists. it be uh, painters, sculptors, pretty much all of the arts can come here and be highlighted. Okay. So how does Motorhouse fit into that art scene? What types of things do you guys do? The thing that I can honestly say that we advocate for is emerging artists that have a voice here. So one of the things that we do, well, that especially back in 2020, we opened up the uh, Digital Artist Portfolio Program, which was a way for local artists to be able to continue to grow their art amid the uh, crisis, amid the, the pandemic that was occurring. So that was one of the easiest ways that we tried to, that sets us apart from other venues, because some venues may want to have your more established artists, they may want to have someone like, where's your resume? Whereas mm -hmm. then you have the people like me, where it's just like, I've been playing for a long time, but I didn't have much of those things. So what I did was come in and state, I have talent. Is there a way that I can be used here? And they found a really good way for me to be used. So I'm very happy that this uh, is here. So what you don't know is when we showed up, we tore him away from the drum kit. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So how are you expecting Motorhouse to grow over the next couple of years? I think that the way that we're going to grow is organically. Uh, with, with the energy that you try to put out, you're going to receive that back. And one of the things that I love about us is that we are about opening our doors to the city. So the, the, the graffiti artists, I remember one time with the empanada lady, she had a... <laughs> She had one of the, um, it was a baby shower and they had some dirt bikes come by, uh, like to do like a, a reveal. That was actually pretty cool. So I feel like the way that we're going to grow is the way that Baltimore City is growing. So with the great things that are happening in Baltimore City, uh, Motorhouse is naturally going to be a reflection of that. Well, speaking of emerging artists, you do have an internship program. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. So with our internship program, it's unique because we do not believe in free labor. <laughs> we, we do our best not to advocate free labor. So the way that we leverage it right now is for anyone that's seeking uh, an internship here, we will leverage that with college credits. So Ooh. if you have, if you're looking for a marketing credit, you know, if you're a senior in uh, college and you're looking to get marketing experience for credit, that's something that you would be able to do here. You come speak with us. And that's just one of the programs. The one, one of the programs I really love, though, is DAP. I love the fact that the DAP program highlights emerging artists in this area and allows them, like, what we do is we give them money. Because <laughs> everyone <laughs> likes to have money. Who doesn't love money? We give them money. We give them a photo shoot. We give them uh, pretty much video. And we create an electronic press kit for them. So oh, by wow. the time that you're finished, you'll have something to be able to give to people like you. And be able Excellent. to say, hey, I have this great talent. And it was developed here at Motorhouse. <laughs> so speaking of Motorhouse, Motorhouse. How can people find out more about upcoming events? So the easiest way to keep track of us is going to be through our social media. Our Instagram uh, tag is going to be Motorhouse Baltimore. Uh, there's also our website. So it's www.motorhousebaltimore.com. And of course, once you go to that website, you can sign up for our newsletter that I work on very hard <laughs> every month. I have deadlines. So please feel free <laughs> to just, you know, sign up for that. And that's just the easiest way to keep track of all the events that we have going on. And what types of events do you have coming up? Whew. So our monthly program consists of the Writers Workshop with uh, Unique Michael Robinson. She uh, is a graduate of MICA. Well, no, I'm not sure if she's a graduate of MICA. 
but she is a professor at MICA. And this is one of the only free writer workshops that are here in, the, uh, in Baltimore City. Uh, along with that, we have Mecca's Mike, uh, National Poet Laureate uh, Mecca, Me Mecca Morphosis. She hosts her, uh, yes, <laughs> she hosts her uh, open mic here. Last month, they did a poetry slam where I think Kenneth something, he actually won that poetry slam. So that's, that's pretty exciting. Impressive. Um, along with that, our weekly event is the Art of Comedy. That is like the way that I got in here. I did five minutes of stand up and they were like, oh, that's pretty cool. And that's ran by, uh, well, that's created by Ivan Martin, but it's hosted by Dark Mark. He's a great comedian uh, <laughs> that's, that's, here in that's based in Baltimore City. Uh, Not an Average Tuesday, that is the last Tuesday of every month that's hosted by our Empanada Lady. She comes through, of course, like that is, she's the, the resident chef of the venue. Mm -hmm. And what she does is she invites pretty much the entire city to come out participate in uh, games, fun. She has vendors on site. And then to kind of close everything out, I'm being biased. I know that I am. <laughs> My favorite event here is the Vibe Check. Everyone loves mu uh, live music. You can come through, you can get a taste of live music and kind of really be on the pulse of like the live music scene here in Baltimore City. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It's Leanne Blanchard for Boots in Baltimore. Come check out Motorhouse.